I've got to say, it, it was kind of an emergency call because I, you know, as you know, I have now committed yes. to write a book in 30 days. I'm thrilled. So <laughs> I'm glad you are. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, before we get into all of that, yes. since we spoke last, I, have you published any more books? Yes, probably seven or eight. I, I do four a year, so yes. is it two years? I can't, I can't I, actually gosh, remember. I can't remember either. No. But I, you'd published about 150-something? Yes, I'm in 100. It is, it's still 150-something, I think. Right. So yeah. you just keep going, you keep pumping them out, yes. and you never run dry? No. Oh, no, I know what the next 20 books are going to be. Wow. Mm -hmm. You're t wow. You, you know what the next 20 books are? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> I may not write them all because each year I meet my publisher and we decide what books I'm going to write that year. Right. So uh, if they come up with good ideas, I'll write theirs rather than, than my ones. Right, so you're, normally a mixture. you're never going to give up, I think. Oh, no, no. Well, it's actually, it's a great profession. As long as, as, long as I enjoy it, I'll keep on doing it. Yeah, mm. oh, fantastic. Yeah. So let's just recap, in case people haven't seen that, that particular interview. So you have a very structured approach to making sure that you kind of meet your targets so yes. that you can keep being on track with writing. Yes. Because a lot of people will be like, oh, writer's block, can't write, haven't written anything. Not you. Well, no, I can't afford to have writer's block because <laughs> I'm a pr professional writer, it's what I do. Yeah. Um, Writer's block normally occurs when people don't know what to write next. Right. And I always know because what to do next because I outline my books. Right. They're, they're not full outlines. It gives me flexibility to move around and change when I'm writing them. But I basically know what's going to happen next all the way through. And I write 2,000 words a day until the book is done. Yes. Now, that's the bit that really captivated me. Mm -hmm. If you know you've got to write 2,000 words a day and you try and get them done early, or maybe it takes you yes. all day, but that's right. you yes. do 2,000 words a day, no matter what. No that's matter what, yes. Right, OK. I always think it's going to be finished by morning tea time, but yeah. <laughs> sometimes it is, but usually it can go on. <laughs> I'll be there at midnight going, oh. <laughs> So listen, let's talk. You touched on the structure, you know, mm -hmm. the fact that you always know where you're going with it. Yes. So what advice would you give a writer, Yes. for example? Yes. Um, someone who is going to write a book, mm -hmm. how do you go about setting up your structure? Um, I, w I would start by finding my publisher unless I'm going to self-publish it. Right. And okay. get, and get their, download their guidelines because every publisher has guidelines for writers. Yeah. And you can just download those from the internet. And then that tells you what they want and also what they don't want. Yeah. So that saves time. But once once I've got all that sorted, I will then I have the title of the book. I'll write as many interesting things as I can about the topic. Okay. I, I need at least fifteen, right. and um, they will be become chapter headings. Okay. They, they will change a little bit, but they will be ultimately become chapter headings. And um, then once I've got those and rearranged them and thought what's missing, what needs to be included, I'll then add add to those, just a, just a little bit, just a few keywords, right, what okay. I'm going to include in each chapter. Yeah. And uh, that's my outline. Okay, and so then, 15 then is writing. my target. I need 15 interesting things yes. to write down. <laughs> yes. If I can't find 15 uh, and I still want to do the book, I will, I'll write an article first right. and I'll get that published in the magazine and see what feedback I get. Oh, actually, that's if, a good idea. Yes, because if you don't get any feedback, well, it's probably not going to be worth writing the book. I have no idea if this interview is interesting to anyone else. This is me doing my research <laughs> for my book. <laughs> I'm good. like, yeah. tell me more, yeah. tell me more. So let's say I've got my outline, mm -hmm. and I've committed to writing 2,000 words a yes. day, which didn't sound a lot the first time that you said <laughs> it, you know. Yes. Um, what, what advice would you give me on a day-to-day -day basis? I, I would start at a certain time every day. Right. So um, that forces you to be there and to write. So don't look at emails, don't look at Facebook, don't do anything to you, you're there to write. That's good advice. And so no distractions. Mm -hmm. If this is your primary thing, and I yes. guess it's the same whether you're writing a book or you know, whatever you think is your primary focus in life, yes. do that first. Yes, yes, that's right. right. Yes. Okay. Right, okay. And typically what time do you start? Um, well, it used to be 8 in the morning because my wife used to go out and work, but she doesn't anymore, so it's more likely 10. Right. In the morning, <laughs> okay. I think I'm going to start about two in the <laughs> afternoon, you know. <laughs> and do you think it matters whether you're a morning person or an afternoon no, person? No, I, I don't think so. No. I can write any time of the day or night. Yeah. I just prefer to do it in the morning. Yeah. And have you been a person who dictates or do you type or no, write? No, I've, I've, I've always typed. Right. Uh, I'm intrigued with the idea of dictating because mm. I, I, I think I could up my output if, yeah. I, if I dictated. 
Well, but hey. I haven't experimented with it yet. Do I, wanna, I intend to. Do you want to write a book when I'm writing mine, which is like soon? Actually, I we, don't, could, we could do that. Shall we? We could definitely do that. We should do that, yeah. and we should get everyone writing a book in the same <laughs> month. You know, if you think you want to write Everywhere. a book yeah. <laughs> and you haven't started yet and you want to give it a go, perhaps you should join us in what should we call it, book writing month. Yes, well, that's, that's a very, catchy. very good idea. <laughs> yeah. So, Richard, I am blaming yeah. you for the fact that I got mm -hmm. all excited and promised to write a book because yes. I was quite inspired by your interview. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, oh, yeah, Richard writes one every month. I'll be able yeah. to do it. Um, but actually, I re-ran the interview. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, oh, what did Richard tell us in the last one? And I remember saying to you, is it true everyone has a book in them? Do you, yes. do you remember what you would have said? I think I would have said something like, um, yes, everyone has a book inside them, but that's normally where you should stay. Oh, yeah, and that was, that's the thing. I'm really worried that my book is going to be one of those books. No, I'm sure, I'm sure it won't. And you've got some books with you today, I yes, see. Yes, yes. This is my newest book, Angels for Beginners. Oh, yeah. I've written a lot of books for beginners because that's where the biggest market is. The more specialised the audience, the smaller the market, of course. So uh, well, this is a non-fiction book, just introducing people to the subject of angels yeah. and how they can use them yeah. in everyday life and call on them. That's a, a book on rituals, because we we our lives are full of rituals. Yeah. Even getting out of bed and getting dressed in the morning yeah. is a ritual of, of a sort. And I guess it's it's an advanced habit, really, if you think about it. It yeah. is. Yes, you often do them without thinking. Yeah. Yes, yes, it's, it's exactly right. And these are these are two books that just keep on selling, one on creative visualisation and one on, on body language. They're just sort of popular topics that just yeah. keep it keep on selling. And I also have a couple of books which I bought speci especially for you, oh, because you. knowing that you're going to be writing a book... <laughs> one, one give is, me the book, give yeah. me the book! <laughs> <laughs> one is Success Strategies for Writers, and it's basically... It's got a little bit about motivation in there. It's, it's basically Ooh. how to write a, write a book. Cool. You're using my system of writing a book. Oh, brilliant. So, uh, Thank you. I hope that will be of use to you. You know what you. I really love as well? Is it's quite thin. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's not like, oh, he gave me a 3,000 page book, yes, now I've yes, got to read it. Yes. Brilliant. Thank you. I like you. writing thin books because they do, <laughs> they're, they're quick. Quick, quick, quick and easy. <laughs> yes. And this is another thin book that's um, How to Write and Publish Your Life Story. Ah, so, interesting. Um, I'm sure a, a, lot a little of bit more specialised. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Oh, fantastic. Well, listen, thank you so much for coming in and thanks for all your help. I will call you. you. I will. Yes, please, please, <laughs> please call me. I'll be very happy to help.